If you would like to help support Jono's Cigars, head on over to the Smoke a Good One shop. Link in the description below where you can find all the great Jono's Cigars merchandise, t-shirts, phone cases, coffee mugs, and much more. So head on over to the Smoke a Good One shop today and help support this amazing cigar channel. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe with Jonas Cigar is back for the first of the April reviews. Spring is in full swing, a little chilly out at night, and I'm back outside again. The tent has been put away for the season. Got to give my chance, give uh, my grass a chance to recover from being covered up all winter. I uh, would like that part of my lawn back, so it's going to be back out on the deck again. And I'm okay with that because it doesn't feel too bad out anymore. And uh, I can deal with uh, the outdoor elements just fine while doing reviews, so long as it's not below, you know, 40 degrees. And it's definitely not that cold right now. Cold enough to wear a hoodie, but that's about it. So, going through the votes for the last poll, there was an overwhelming winner that everybody wanted to see for sure. And that is one by AJ Fernandez. Viva la vida. This is the torpedo. This is a six and a half by 54 ring gauge uh, Bellicoso. Very, very beautiful looking glossy wrapper leaf on this one. I love the band work on there with the jester. Very, very fun and festive. I like the color scheme, the red, the black, and the white. Very striking, love the contrast. Some visible seams, very few veins. A nice medium firm roll and pack, love that. Pre-light pre aromas, wow. I'm having all kinds of trouble. We have some almost cheesy sourness coming off of here. There is some leather and earth. Faint notes of dried fruit, particularly off of the foot. But that body, you get a very, very sour sort of note coming off of it. Kind of reminds you of like a sour, almost like a sour cream or a sour cream cheese, something like that. Very, very interesting. So this is a Nicaraguan pearl, so binder, long filler, wrapper leaf, all coming from Nicaragua. The specifics of this particular blend, uh, we have Criollo 98 long fillers, a Corojo 99 binder, and a very beautiful Habano Oscuro 2000 wrapper leaf. All of it looks fantastic. I know this is uh, conventionally known as an AJ Fernandez blend. This is actually a collaboration between him and uh, Billy and Gus Faki of Artisano del Tobacco, a boutique cigar company, and they co co collaborated with AJ Fernandez to make this blend. So, haven't had this one before. Let's go ahead and get this one cut, toasted, see what we can find out. Right away, very, very good draw. Even with that bottlenecking with a bellicoso cap, draw is very effortless, very relaxed, am ample smoke output. Really is an enjoyable resistance on the draw there. Medium to medium full. Got some nice uh, toast and wood notes hints of leather, and some black pepper, especially on the finish. Kind of tingles the tongue there, very nice. The Retro Hill is a very savory, almost salty cedar, and with black pepper in there as well. More toast notes coming through also. Very, very nice. Like the flavors, very balanced. Like the smoke texture. It's got a little bit of an oil feel to it. All right, good enough start for me. Let's go ahead and get this go, let this go until we get a little further into the first third. We'll see you then. All right, 10 minutes in, well into the first third. Very good burn. Nice solid white ash, a few little flakes, otherwise, a very good construction on this cigar. Still having a great draw, wonderful smoke output, still medium to medium full. Uh, still getting lots of that sort of toasted bread with some black pepper speckled in there. Um, there's some molasses sort of sweetness coming through 
and it kind of reminds me of like a molasses sort of molasses cookie. Have anyone ever had like molasses crinkles at Christmas time? That's the sort of thing that it reminds me of. Kind of a cookie flavor. It's got that sweetness to it. It's got somewhat of a bready characteristic to it. Um, but that molasses sweetness is kind of the driving force. And then on the retro hail, there is a citrus syrupy sweetness coming through and some zesty white pepper. And that citrus kind of reminds me of like a real dark wheat toast with orange marmalade on there. Just what's popped into my head. And it was, it was kind of nice. I really did like that blend. I'm not a huge marmalade fan, but like a lot of things that'll pick up cigars, I uh, will like it when it's in a, a smoke flavor or aroma form <laughs> for whatever reason. So pretty interesting little new, uh, note there, liking it. All right, let this go until I get about halfway through the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, 40 minutes in, well, about halfway through the stick. Still pretty good burn. Only ashed once so far in a nice one and a half inch chunk. Burning at a not too rushed pace, I like that. Don't like it when cigars burn too fast. It's not burning too slow. Just got a very nice even pace to it, like it. Uh, still a medium to medium full, kind of teetering to a medium full just straight on. Uh, there is some oil slick coming through on the palate and tongue now. Kind of an interesting change in the smoke texture. Uh, still getting a plenty of that uh, savory, kind of salt and pepper toast. Um, there is some leather in there, especially now with that oil coming through, you get a lot more leather notes. Still getting some molasses sweetness, but not as much as it was as it was in the first, that last segment that I did. And then uh, we're getting something interesting on the retro hill. There is a musky sort of flavor coming through. Kind of remin reminds me of like a uh, kind of a musky goat cheese. If anybody's ever had goat cheese, you kind of know what I'm talking about. There's some bread notes in there, so it's kind of reminding me of goat cheese on a cracker. Fun little addition. Um, there's a white pepper on the retrohale as well. Citrus notes are still there a little bit, but they're not quite so marmalade-esque anymore. Just kind of a straight citrus zest along with that white pepper. Liking this one a lot, very interesting. And it's performing very, very well. Like the draw on this one a lot. Uh, it is hard to pull off a torpedo shape without the draw being overtly tight. Always kind of a pet peeve with me with most bellicosos, but when you get one that doesn't have that problem, well, I'm impressed, I like it. And this is one of those, so good on you, AJ. Good cigar so far. We'll let this go until we get a little further in, probably towards the end of the cigar. I'll see you then. All right, we're an hour and 25 minutes in, well into the final third here. Not quite to the nub, but I wanted to go ahead and start talking about the cigar because it is really starting to get, get good here in the final third. Uh, right towards the end of the second third, we started to get a really, really intense cocoa butter that was coming through. Very balanced, not particularly sweet, but very oily, really coated the mouth. Love that texture and I love that flavor. Um, also getting some sort of is either avocado or a banana. Eh, it's, it's, it's in between in there. Just kind of a really oily fruit note. Not particularly sweet, but it was very noticeable. And we're getting now, we also got some almond in there. Very, very nice. Kind of amaretto-esque. Um, as opposed to it just being a straight nutty toasted almond. It was a very sweet, nuanced almond flavor. Really enjoyable. We're getting some sort of it's like some sort of creamy cheese, something like mascarpone, if anybody knows what that is. Cream cheese, uh, something like that. Very savory, very, very smooth, delicious. Um, there is some white pepper going on in there, and there is some uh, cedar wood coming in through on the draw as well. Really, really nice combination of flavors, and they're all balanced very, very well. 
on the retro hill. Get some more of that kind of sharp almond and white pepper coming through on the retro hill. Citrus zest a little bit there, not as much as it was earlier. You really noticed that citrus zesty quality coming through on the retro hill earlier. Now it's kind of a, just a sharp white pepper, cedar wood, some almond. Boy, and that cocoa butter, boy, even after you do the retro hill, you get this cocoa butter sort of finish. It's just lovely. Love it. Really, really good cigar. Uh, and I always like cigars where it surprises you in the final third. Uh, a lot of times you'll get cigars where you really enjoy those first two thirds and then it just kind of goes downhill. Not that it's always terrible, but usually it peaks right around the second third. I like it when the flavors peak closer to the back end of the cigar, like it just keeps climaxing as you go further and further along into the stick. And this is one of those really, really enjoyable cigar. Very unique. Not the sort of flavors that I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting out of the cigar. Uh, I was expecting something good. It comes from AJ Fernandez. A lot of people have talked about loving this stick. This is my first time having it. I'm really digging it a lot, and I'm glad I got a few more because I'm going to enjoy those uh, sometime later. Very, very well done. Love this blend so far. I mean, this is, like I said, the first time I've had it. Be interested to see what the other Vitolas offer as far as the flavor dynamic. This one, love it. Really, really good. Uh, the, f the body, it's, it's medium full now here in the back third. Uh, it is a medium full for sure. It was kind of teetering between medium to medium full. Now it is just straight medium full. Uh, and the flavor strength is kind of a medium full as well. As far as nicotine, I would say I guess it's moderate. I'm not really feeling too much of a nicotine hit at this point. Uh, I don't really like nicotine hits, so I'm glad it didn't really kick me in the ass. Really enjoyed this one a lot. Hope you'll check it out. Thanks so much for joining me for the first of the April reviews. As always, do not forget to subscribe. Click that icon, bottom right corner. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. A lot of people that watch the videos aren't subscribers, so get on to the bandwagon. Join the Smoke a Good One family and see all the other great reviews that I have coming up. And if you wish to look at some more reviews that I have, check me out on Instagram, at Jonas Cigars. That is my handle. I have a lot of written reviews up there, uh, and I take pictures along the way so you can see the progression and the performance of the cigar as well. And if you wish to support this channel, head on over to the Smoke a Good One shop, link in the description below. Get some great Jonas merchandise and help support this channel in the process. Hope you guys are having a great April. Started off so far, so good for me. Hope you have a great Easter. Until next time, everybody, smoke a good one. Hey, thanks for watching Jono Cigars. If you like this cigar video, as I'm sure you do, otherwise why would you be here? You might want to subscribe to this awesome cigar channel by clicking this head right here. Subscribe to the Jono Cigar channel to get notifications every time I release a new cigar video. If you like this video, or any video, why don't you check out this video over here? Maybe I'm in it, maybe I'm not. Either way, it's a quality, quality cigar review. Check it out.